looks really good. Craig is just the Look at the dolphin collar. Congratulations. Let's hear that again. Carol Connors, and I'm the official Dolphin Call Lady. It all started with Victoria Beckham and coming to America. I don't know if you saw that. And I am so proud that the person that is sponsoring all this and that I have been lucky to be go down with, oh God, Carol, I'm a Scorpio, that Barbie and I have been under the ocean with is Russ Lesser. He's the president of Body Glove, and when he is donated, a body club wetsuit to the winner of the Dolphin Call Calling Contest, our first annual Russ, would you come up? I understand the kids are fabulous, and we hope we can teach them a little bit about how important coral reefs are, because coral reefs, are we need them to survive as a race of human beings. We need to work together, because it, they, they are incredibly important to the survival of the species. So, learn about coral reefs, learn about how dolphins are important, and see if you can come up here and sound like one. So, thank you all for coming. Thank you for inviting us to this wonderful event. I love being here, and I love the two of you. And look, we are all in matching colors. Are we fashionistas yeah, or what? So these are some of our new little contestants. And Greg is our boss. He's the head of Reef Check. He's all over the world saving reefs. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys how to do it because we're going to have a contest. Body Glove is sponsoring it, and the winner is going to get a wetsuit. A wetsuit! Okay, and next door there's finger painting, and there's wonderful stuff for it to put on for sunscreen by Erica. Okay, here goes. This is how we're going to do it, kids. You're going to close your eyes. Close your eyes. You might want to. Okay, then you're going to think like a dolphin. Now you're going to open. You just think dolphins in the ocean, okay? And then you open your eyes, and then you're gonna try and do a dolphin call. And I know all of you will do it, so I'm gonna do it, and then you will be doing your dolphin calls afterwards, okay? Here goes. Wow. Does she sound like a dolphin? Well, now all you beautiful little children are gonna come up with my two little friends, and you're gonna try doing a dolphin call, okay? My name is Mara New. Well, it's nice to meet you again. Likewise. <laughs> and uh, how did you become a judge today? Actually, I became a judge because of my dear friend, Carol Connors. And of course, I know Greg from Reef Check. What will you be basing your scores on in the Dolphin Call Contest today? Uh, the score will be based on creation, sound, cuteness, <laughs> and reality. What do you mean by reality? Well, it has to be close to the real thing. Oh. That was excellent. Thank you so much. All right. What do you do for occupation? Occupation, I act and produce and I design and life is good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. What types of things have you acted in? Most recently in a film called Nightclub with Ernie Borgnine, Paul Sorvino. What's that movie about? Uh, it's about an old age home, and I play one of the old ladies, and my love interest is Rance Howard, the father of Ron Howard, and we have this thing going on in the old uh, age home, and it's a good ending. Aww. Sounds nice. Yes. Can't wait to see it. I know. It's coming up soon. Oh, it's great. I know. Lovely. Thank you for your interview. Thank you. Thank you. And have a great... And let the judging begin. Oh, yes. Let's hear your dolphin call. Where did 
make you hear that? You don't know? Let's hear it again. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, do another one. You don't know? A little bit louder. All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then, what? Mr. Waxman is here. And me back Waxman. And God knows he loves our city. He loves our state. He's out there doing things for us and helping. And he's here. And he's walking around. And we're trying to get him to do a dolphin call. So how many people have, how many people do you want to hear the congressman do a dolphin call? Scream, yeah. I, I didn't plan to, but you got that kind of response. Carol. Let Carol demonstrate. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate okay. first because we are here to save the reefs, yeah. save the dolphins, and save all the sea creatures. Okay, this is how you do it. You close your eyes, you think dolphin, and then you go. Okay, now it's your turn, Congressman. Do that again. No. <laughs> I'm a sick dolphin. <laughs> very good. Thank We're going to make much. it better. <laughs> Thank you I'll so much, Congressman. Keep saving those dolphins. Okay, saving the reefs. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We've got to protect our planet. And climate change and global warming is threatening the reefs and our oceans first. And we've got to do something now to stop all that damage that's going to take place. Thank and you. And you're doing it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And the people of this country and the world have to do it too. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you. Very good. There it is. Wow. It's a tough crowd, yeah. That's called the angry dolphin, everybody. The angry, angry dolphin. dolphin. <laughs> All right, let's hear you. Speak right into the microphone and give your best dolphin call. There it is. All right, excellent. That's very good. That is excellent. Do it one more time. Louder. That was very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very nice. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. All right. You listen to dolphins. Excellent. Good. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Here, one more time. 
one more time. <coughs> Face the stage. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. Hi, you're watching Michaela and Shayna online. online. We're at Polywalk Park in Manhattan Beach. Here, celebrating the Reef Checks Foundation and Body Gloves first annual Dolphin Call Contest at the South Bay Earth Day Concert and Celebration event. And we had the pleasure to interview Gregor Hudson. He's the founder of the Reef Check Foundation. Hi. Hi, how are you today? I'm good, good. how are you? How did you enjoy uh, the Dolphin Call Contest? It was fun, it, it was, was really great. great. Our um, dad did it, he was funny. <laughs> Your dad was pretty funny. Have you guys ever seen or heard a dolphin before? We have, we gone to SeaWorld and got to swim with the and dolphin. I went um, whale watching. That's wonderful. So did you talk to them before? Kind of, in a way, like, we, when we went to SeaWorld, we kind of, we just petted and stuff. Very nice. How about you? Have you seen a dolphin? I've seen thousands of dolphins all over the world. Can you tell us more about your Reef Check Foundation? Well, Reef Check was set up to help save reefs, both here in California, the Rocky Reefs, and also coral reefs in tropical places like Hawaii, Florida, and even in international countries like Australia, Dominican Republic. Have you ever seen a coral reef before? I have. In books, yeah. yeah. I've seen in pictures. I think, yeah. Did you ever snorkel before? We have, oh, snorkel, in yeah. Hawaii we, we went snorkeling yeah. and we saw, are, we saw the coral reefs. Those are coral reefs, exactly. And we have dolphins that live associated with coral reefs. We also have them here in California, like you saw. So dolphins can live in the tropics or they can live right next to uh, the reefs here. Could you give us your best dolphin call? I am a complete failure as a dolphin caller. So I'm not even going to attempt. You guys were so good, I won't even try. But I will tell you that coral reefs over the last 20 years have been dying. So the dolphins are not happy. So we're so happy that you came out today to help us to support saving coral reefs because they've been really suffering and going downhill. So thank you so much for showing your support for coral reefs and supporting our dolphin call contest today. And I hope we'll see you out snorkeling sometime. Yes. Why should the world care about coral reefs? People should care about coral reefs because the, the ocean basically is where all of our oxygen is coming from, okay? And the oxygen we, we, we breathe is coming from all the algae that live in the ocean. If we didn't have those algae, we wouldn't have this oxygen that we breathe. Wow. Wow. I always thought it came from the trees. Me too. They, of course, oxygen comes from trees too, but about a third of the oxygen comes from the ocean. Without that, we wouldn't have dolphins and we wouldn't have people. We wouldn't be able to survive. So we're all connected. All the oceans and the land, we're all connected together. So we've got to take care of our oceans or else we won't be here anymore. Well, that's something new I learned today. Yeah, same. What are some of the most important issues today that are impacting the coral reefs? Coral reefs, we don't have any here in California. We just have rocky reefs here. And the most important issues affecting the reefs here are pollution and global warming. And the same for coral reefs in tropical countries. Global warming is causing the sea level to rise. It's causing the oceans to get more acid. And when the oceans get hotter, the, the coral reefs bleach and they die. We've lost 25% of the coral reefs around the world in the last 20 years. It's a real disaster. So hopefully we can solve those problems and with everybody's help, and if you help us to publicize, we'll be able to save the reefs. So thank you for helping to save reefs today. I hear they sunk a bunch of ships off of the uh, coast yes. to make some artificial coral reefs. Uh -huh. How did that work? And did Arti it work? Artificial reefs are great for attracting fish. They're wonderful as tourist attractions, but it's not going to save the natural reefs. So we have a new network of marine protected areas here in California, which are saving the reefs, and that's really good. So we should support the government's efforts to save the natural reefs that we have. And if people want to look at ships underwater or cars or airplanes, that's wonderful. It provides more habitat for fish uh, as well, but it's the natural reefs so that we should be caring about the most. Thank you so much for your interview. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks very much, ladies. Thank Hope you. to see you soon. Okay, bye.
Hi. I wrote a song for my little nephew, uh, who is now three years old. He was born with Down syndrome. And the only thing that my sister asked me was that I would one day take Miles to see the dolphins. So, because I was so moved by my sister's request, because she's never asked me for anything in her whole life, I wrote this song called, The Dolphins Are Coming, Let the Magic Begin. And I wanted the children to be on stage. Aren't they beautiful? And I'm their height, because my father was a jockey. Okay, I'm not a disc jockey, guys, but a jockey jockey. Okay, are we ready? A maestro? <laughs> I want you all to sing the part when you can, okay? You'll know it in a minute. Where the sun always shines on your circle of friends. 